Labour has changed his mind this week. He says it's because he's listening. Labour say Downing Street's a shambles. Budget measures, this time a tax on charity donations. The Chancellor, George Osborne, had wanted to cap the amount a person or business could give rather than paying it in tax. But after strong opposition from charities, Mr Osborne's relented, saying it was clear the plans would be damaging. After climb downs over pasties and static caravans, it's the third U-turn in just a week. Labour, though, say the government is shambolic. Well, our political editor, Andy Bell, is outside number 11 Downing Street for us now and Andy you can see behind you the bunting's up the government don't have too much to celebrate tonight though do they not really Emma then if this change could cause political damage why do you think he's decided to u-turn again well, in terms of the actual timing of the day... Well, U-turns weren't the only thing making life difficult for the government today. The Culture Secretary Jeremy Hunt finally took his turn at the Leveson inquiry to defend his handling of the B Sky B takeover bid. During eight hours of questioning, he said he was sympathetic to a takeover, but he was still able to be impartial. He did also reveal that he sent a text of congratulations to James Murdoch hours before being given responsibility for the bid. Well, in the last hour, the Prime Minister has given his backing to Mr Hunt. Leila Hayes reports. Well, David Cameron's former spin doctor Andy Coulson says he will vigorously contest his perjury charge. Mr Coulson was formally... Waiting times at any units in England are rising sharply. According to a new study joined now by Eric Appleby from Alcohol Concern. Eric, I certainly do. Uh, how feasible is this advice? I mean, do you really see people pouring themselves a tiny glass of wine or a quarter of a pint of beer a night? No, not at all. I, mean, I, don't, I don't think this, this is intended to... Watching this, probably with a nice glass of wine, hopefully. Uh, it's confusing, isn't it? Because every day there's a report like this, the next day there's a report saying, actually, a glass of red wine night's good for your heart, it's good for your health. Who do we believe? Well... Ignoring the people who really drink too much and are, and are abusing alcohol, because the vast majority of us do mm. drink quite sensibly, don't we? Yeah, the people who, who are...